What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Midwest Two Review here, back again. It's been a while. I've taken some time off. Been working on a couple projects around the house, as well as the BMW build, and uh, I just haven't really felt like making a lot of videos here. But I'm back, and uh, I got some things that are here that are new. So we're gonna do a toolbox tour tonight, kind of get you guys uh, reacquainted with the uh, Jamestown from Matco. Uh, and as well as some of the new things that I've picked up here recently. So let's get right into it. So you guys know, uh, this is the Jamestown um, box here. It's, uh, what is it, six drawers uh, plus the top portion here. <clears throat> We've got our, um, our some of our insulated screwdrivers here, our shop light by work zone on that side. We've got some Linux screwdrivers, uh, um, snap-on breaker bar, couple extensions, an extra light, title system vehicles, magnets, things like that. On this top portion here, we've got our snap-on metric um, half-inch drive, deeps and shallows, our mid-length uh, gray pneumatics, uh, six points, and then our gray pneumatics, 12 points shallow. We've got a set of quarter-inch drive gray pneumatics, uh, as well as a set of metric um, snap-on from uh, 8 to uh, 19. Then we've got a set of quarter inch drive shallows ranging from four all the way up to 15 with no skips. So you guys see a theme here. I'm like a big Gradymatic fan. I've been picking up a lot of Gradymatic stuff here lately uh, to kind of outfit the box. I think for a DIY um, person um, or DIY or rather, uh, Gradymatic is probably one of the best uh, impact socket sets you can buy with the exception of maybe uh, SunX. Um, but I do have a, a, a variety uh, a variety of Snap-on as well, so I'm not biased to one brand or the other. I've just been using these gray pneumatics quite extensively here lately, and I really come to like them, so I'm kind of promoting them a little bit more so than maybe I would have in the past. Um, got some spark plug sockets up here. Nothing special, just a couple SK and a, and a snap on. A uh, set of cheap little uh, um, 3 8 drive and quarter inch drive metric set from Vance Auto. Some uh, hex, stubby hex. Um, I believe these are Carlisle, or I can't recall where I got those from. A uh, set of uh, SAE snap on wobbles, some snap on metric and SAE mix uh, chrome wobbles. Couple random snap-on sockets here, and I think an SK. Uh, full set of uh, snap-on torques and hex on this rail here. Got some of the, the rapid or ratchet buddies from Snap-on back there. Uh, Milwaukee 2.0 milliamp battery uh, from my half-inch drive stubby impact. On this side, we've got the SAE uh, deeps and shallows from Snap-on mid-length. Um, um, Sockets from Great Matic. These are six point. Had to rec um, recall what they were. Uh, mid length um, airy sockets, chrome, and then a set of cobalt chrome 12 point um, shallows just to kind of just to have them around. And then a couple of random apex sockets there. Um, we have a set of six inches and two three inch snap on extensions. We have a really long 24 inch long extension. We have a, another, I think that's another snap or a Craftsman extension there that's 24 inches and, and a snap one that's 36. Um, and then we also have a Mac Tools uh, half inch drive locking extension there. I think it's 25 inches long. So that's the top box there. Oh, there's also a set of uh, super stubby um, Carlisle um, Six point sockets impact. So this is a metric set as well. Just kind of keep them on the back and a snap on rail. Every once in a while I get to really pull those out and use them, but they're not something I use all the time. So that's the uh, top portion of the uh, Jamestown um, box here. Also I've got my uh, Matco um, parts bins here. These are the collapsible kind. Um, they're rubberized, collapsible, really, really nice. I've been using them. Uh, primarily the orange one here and they clean up really really well just with some soap and hot water they clean up really nicely um, got another hard dish here from matco a uh, magnetizer demagnetizer and a little bitty um, 
bit driver there. For the money shot, we've got uh, my, my ratchet drawer and you can see there everything from snap-on to uh, snap-on to SK, um, some Mac, one Craftsman wrench, some Capri, some Armstrong, Matco. Um, I even have a Proto in here. Uh, and that pretty much rounds it out. So it's not any uh, set up any specific way. I've got some uh, quarter inch drive snap ons here roto, fixed head, flex heads. Um, flex head snap on here with the custom grip, the bent handle, the roto head, locking flex head, non locking, regular but extended length, another flex head, non locking, couple standard lengths. A ratchet from Walden back from the 50s that I restored. My Mac, which I just finally put the new gears in that bad boy. So she's up and running. Sounds really, really nice. Um, an old uh, Herbrand ratchet that I have not yet restored, but I intend to do so. Old J10. Uh, does work really well. We will get that one restored at some point in time in the near future. Uh, old Craftsman. Uh, some Capri ratchets here that I picked up from a, a fellow subscriber. Armstrong half inch drive, snap on half inch drive, snap on uh, TLL 72, uh, flex head, another bent handle, but this is the quarter inch drive bent handle from snap on. A Matco bit driver, 516 quarter inch drive with the removable bit, and then a Matco red handle locking flex head, quarter inch drive. Another set of snap-on um, and one SK quarter inch drives, fixed heads, shorts, um, locking, non-locking, Matco half inch drive, Proto half inch drive, Carlisle half inch drive, snap-on breaker bar, Mac Axis 3 8 drive, and a Matco locking flex head green with the black out shaft, uh, snap-on um, stubby. 3 8 drive and a Matco stubby 3 8 drive. So that's pretty much my ratchet drawer there as it currently sits. Not really looking to buy any more ratchets at this time, but this is where we're currently sitting at. All right, moving on. Uh, here's our screwdriver drawer. So we've got some long cabinet screwdrivers, some bits. We have the Matco uh, ratchet and screwdriver, full kit there, a blue point, old blue point. Um, bit driver set there, some snap-on screwdrivers, various sizes, snap-on small screwdrivers and picks, and even a couple torques there, all snap-on there, a couple snap-on stubby screwdrivers down here, ratcheting screwdriver, um, holes pick, another ratcheting screwdriver, a couple pocket screwdrivers, pick set from Matco, and a snap-on racing set here, which I don't use. There's also a right breaker bar that gets used probably just as much as anything else in this box that I keep in this drawer. From there, we're down into the wrench drawer. And I'm going to talk about these two wrenches here. They're kind of important to me. A uh, little bit of a hodgepodge of everything here. We've got Snap-on ratcheting. We've got a couple of the Harley Davidson wrenches that were built by Snap-on. A set of um, Craftsman USA uh, SAE. My blue points. Um, some Cobalt... Um, uh, stubbies, both metric and SAE, a set of uh, Everlast or Evercraft from Napa, uh, line um, crow's feet, some Mac uh, um, hard handle uh, wrenches. This is a set of Craftsman, but these are the Craftsman USA that were built by um, SK. Uh, and then I got a couple fillers in, they take me up to 21. And then here's a Columbian by Wilden set of. Um, extra long um, metric set of uh, wrenches. So metric, metric, and pretty much all metric with the exception of a couple racks or rails that um, are SAE. These two wrenches here, I'll only pick up one to kind of show you. These belong to my mother-in-law who has now passed away. She had found these on the side of the road, like, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, 15 years ago, something like that. Uh, and they set in a toolbox that she had uh, she's been passed away for a few years now, and uh, I recently came across this toolbox that had been sitting outside in the rain uh, for God knows how long, and this is what they currently look like. So we're going to restore these, get them cleaned up, and I've already started ordering the balance of this set 
off of uh, eBay. So hopefully I can build this set up and it's kind of like a way of paying some homage to her. And uh, and I'm gonna take real nice care of these here. Um, got a couple of snap-on line wrenches down there. And I do have, I got eight and 14 right now. I do have uh, a number 10. So I'm trying to build this entire set. If any of you guys have any of the OEXM um, design uh, snap-on wrenches and you wouldn't mind uh, either selling me some or donating me some, I would be very honored and uh, I can work something out with you. But um, so it's kind of hard to kind of find the full complete sets or enough of the, not the sizes that you need. So I'm trying to go from basically like 8 to 19. I've got 10, i got 8. 8, 10, and 14 is all I have at the moment, but I'm trying to get those uh, that set put together. Um, pay some respects to my um, mother-in-law who's passed. Um, finally got the rails. Uh, so you guys heard me talking about having the rail set up. Um, I have the snap-on rail here, and I ordered from eBay an exact replica of this, but it was from Olsa Tools, which I assume probably makes the rails for snap-on. But what they sent me was this wire style. Um, I, they said they're going to send me that style as well. It was a mix-up with the order, but this is what they sent me now. And I'm just going to keep that and, and uh, use it as is. I do probably have, if in fact the other rail does come, I probably do have enough uh, remaining wrenches that I can or uh, pliers that I can fill it all in. But currently this is our setup. So we've got anything from... Kleins to vampires to more Kleins, some um, uh, Nipex. We have a lot of Nipex. Um, um, some um, I can't even think of. Uh, they're uh, Italian brand, which looks very similar to Nipex. Uh, some Kleins, some vice grips, more Nipex. This is a set of Titan from um, oh, what is it? Um, can't think of the name of the tool company right now. Um, but we, uh, but we also have vampires, uh, more clines, some old vintage USA made pliers that I picked up and restored, some snap-ons, some more snap-ons here, uh, some Mac tools, um, more snap-on vampires. And then I picked up, this is the most recent one I got here, um, which is these bad boys. I love these with, these are the, the very smooth jaw pliers. Um, really, really like this set. Um, I haven't used them extensively. I think I used them like once or twice on uh, maybe the kids' bikes or something like that. But really, really nice set of pliers. And I think this is like the 6-inch maybe? Or it says 8-inch. I'm probably going to get to 10 and 12 um, just to kind of round it all out. But I do like that set very, very, very much. Um, and I'm kind of Trying to slow down on a on a plier bill because on the supplier purchase on the plier purchases because I have so many, but uh, man, I mean you need a good plier, you need a good plier. A uh, small cobalt bit set there, snap on quarter inch drives, deeps and shallows, a couple Mac tools in there, some SK, uh, some bit sets. These are Tex and Torx bits, just kind of impact grade, no name, nothing spectacular. Same thing with those guys. These are all some snap-ons. All of this is all snap-on here. This kind of like overflow that uh, I can't, you know, fit into the sets that I already have. So this is kind of like another overflow of just simply snap-on sockets. Um, all the way up to, what do you need, baby? He's got water. He's good to go. No, Fleetwood's taking shirts. Oh, okay. All right. All the way up to a 30 millimeter. Um, and then I also picked up... Uh, these little um, side cuts, if you will, I guess maybe your flush cut uh, Craftsman pliers, they were on sale at Lowe's, so I picked these up for a nice little price, and uh, I like them. Not too sharp, but they're 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 decent. Um, also picked up, I think I showed you guys this, maybe I didn't, but this is a Sunex set, and I pray to God I don't drop this set. Oof, no, we better not do that. Um, this is a Sunex set of magnetic um, sockets so um, there I was watching a couple of videos on YouTube as I always do and um, and this guy was working on a BMW like mine and he he was concerned about dropping a fastener uh, or a bolt or whatever down into the engine compartment and he couldn't reach it and so I said well I wonder why does he, why doesn't he have a set of quarter inch drive 
magnetic sockets. And so I picked up this set from SunX. Very, very, ha very happy with it. I've already used it um, and it worked out really, really well. So glad to have that. Probably going to pick up, this is quarter inch drive, so I'm probably going to pick up the 3 inch drive as well. Um, and kind of add that. But I've been on a buying spree here lately with sockets, and I'm at that point now where I'm questioning whether or not I should be slowing down or continue building out the box. You guys tell me in the comment section below. Still have not put together the video on these um, rent, this rent set that I got from Mass Fabricator. Um, you may have seen these on Facebooks or other platforms, media outlets. Uh, these are made out of ballistic steel. And uh, I got a set of these to do a review on, and I have to get that done. So I'm going to get that done here in the coming weeks. A uh, set of Icon um, 3H drives, shallow, and some impacts from Icon as well. Those kind of just, I don't have a uh, impact set of 3H drive, and so the, these kind of just fit the bill for right now. And I'm also trying to use them as much as I can to kind of get a good understanding of how well they will or won't work out. Um, I also picked up uh, this set, as you can see the theme here of Grey Pneumatic. Grey Pneumatic should be sponsoring this channel because I've been buying a lot from those guys. Um, here's a set of extensions that I've got, six, three, and one and three quarter inch long, and some a couple adapters, three eighths to quarter and three eighths to half, or vice versa, and then a uh, universal three uh, joint. So picked this set up as well. Really, really nice impact gray chrome molly steel. Um, is what I recommend, um, especially for uh, DIYers. If you don't want to spend the money on Snap-on or Mat Tools or SK for impacts, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend buying either Gray Pneumatic or SunX. Um, really, really great products. An old Husky USA set, um, three inch drive, six point uh, that I'd never use, and then my gray or my blue power by Cornwell. These are my three inch drives. Um, Wobbles anywhere from 8 to 24 millimeter. So this is pretty much um, that drawer there. I think I covered everything. Got some random extensions in there as well. Hopefully you guys are still hanging in there. It's going to be a long one because I've got a lot in this box. Um, the Matco trim panel set. Some more DeWalt bit sets. Blue Point Ratchet Buddies. The hose removal installer set from uh, Matco. Um, I've got a set of um, drain plug um, sockets there, the caliper set uh, press from Matco, snap-on uh, tape measure, um, extractor, snap-on light, a cobalt set of metric and SAE standard and stubby length socket or ratch or wrenches, uh, the Mac tool scraper set, I got another Mac tools Allen key set down here. Uh, another set of wrenches there, I believe, that are metric or SAE. I think they're SAE. Um, some snap-on Torx, um, T-handle Torx, multimeter, and a snap-on soldering iron, um, butane soldering iron. So, um, oh, and then I've got um, some Mac Tools uh, taps uh, here, various sizes, some extractors, and even a um, rotary burr set there as well. Uh, haven't used those, but got them just in case I ever need to do so, or would need to have them. Last drawer, I promise. So um, here's another set of something I got new. Here's a half-inch drive stubby impact socket set. Um, I got this today, actually, or it was delivered today. Um, and the problem with this was, if I can get these open... The problem with this was is that I ordered SA or um, metric, and they sent me SAE, and so I had to get on there and blast them out a little bit because uh, you know I f I knew something was going to be wrong because I looked at the order details on trying to get the tracking number, and I noticed that they had changed it to SAE when I ordered uh, metric, and they promised they would send me the right size, and lo and behold, they did not. But these are half-inch drive stubbies by Capri Tools. Um, with the exception of the ratchets, this is the first Capri tool um, that I've owned. And uh, I, like I said, I ordered the metric set, um, but I received this SAE set. Still going to use them, but, um, you know, yeah, they look really, really nice. Nice construction, um, you know, so I'm happy to have them. 
but I would like to receive my metric set. And they said that should be on the way. They sent me a tracking number for that. And I believe they'll be here like within the, within the coming days. And they told me I can either keep this set or return it, whatever I wanted to do. Um, you know me, I'm probably going to just simply keep it. So, But I got these, picked those up. Um, in my bottom drawer here, this is kind of everything in this drawer. I've got some old SK Impact sockets. I got a full set of Proto Challenger sockets there. Um, a full SAE set. Uh, air tire gauge, various uh, impacts and nut dri or, uh, driver or drill drivers, my Mac or my uh, Milwaukee stubby um, half inch drive. Absolutely love this. This is the fuel. Uh, this is the best impact that I own currently. I do plan to get the the mid torque by um, uh, Milwaukee as well. My my co cobalts are working great. My cobalt three drive is still hammering hard. Love that cobalt. You, you guys did a great job with that with that impact gun. My um, Craftsman uh, inch pounds and my Mac foot pounds torque wrenches bit sets more Dewalt impacts there. Various tools in this bag. I mean, this drawer is just packed. Oh, excuse me, packed with different things. My Mac tools, uh, piston compressor, engine piston piston compressors. My malt are um, my uh, scan tools are in here. My pneumatic tools, my air hammers. Uh, my air drills, my grinders, I mean, everything's kind of piled in this drawer. So that's that's a drawer that's packed full. And um, when I look at it, I kind of get depressed but excited all at the same time. I don't know if you guys ever went through that before, but it almost makes me feel like I need another box. But I don't know. We're getting there, guys. And my shop, I'm not even going to show you my shop because my shop's all screwed up right now. I got things all over the place. And with the... Int with the uh, Rebuilds in, inside the house uh, combined with everything that's in the shop right now. Everything is going crazy. So, But I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm blessed. And so I thank God every day for what um, I'm able to accomplish with what I have. So hope you guys like this video. Hope you subscribe to the channel. I know it was long. I pray that you guys stay through to the very end. Um, I'm not even going to get into my cart over here with all the tools that are in that cart. We'll just stay away from that and make that for another day. Comment it below if you guys want to see what I keep in my, my service cart and uh, a little bit more information about the service cart if you want to call it that. Um, otherwise, guys, I'm going to leave it here. We're at 22 minutes, almost 23 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like my tool collection. It's growing. This is a DIY uh, toolbox. I am not a mechanic. I am a mechanical engineer, um, but I do a lot of... Um, engine bills and other types of projects around my my shop here at home so hope you like hope you subscribe and please leave a comment i will get back to you peace